Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to the channel, today we will be creating logic for 2 axis pick and place station. So, let's get started. Here if we look at the scene we have two conveyors, one for entry and one for the exit, two sensors one on each conveyor, and a two axis pick and place station. As we haven't used the station before let's try to understand it. I have placed an object on the conveyor in front of the sensor. So when the simulation is running the conveyor is off and the sensor detects the object. This will be the condition that we will use to start the process of pick and place. But to place it first we need to pick it up. In the station, we have a few sensors and actuators to move, grab, and rotate objects. So I will force activate the actuators and see how the sensors behave to program it. To move down we need to turn on move Z, and to pick up the object we need to set the grab actuator. If I turn off the move Z actuator the object is picked up. Also when the arm is moving down or up the moving Z sensor is on. At this point, if I turn on the move X actuator the object gets just above the exit conveyor. Now all I need to do is move down again and reset the grab actuator to place the object on the exit conveyor. At this point, the sensor on the exit conveyor will detect the object and this can be used to reset the station. Now that we have seen how we can use it and have a better understanding of what we need to do we can program it easily. For programming, I have created a new project, and added logic for conveyor control, and a marker to know when the object is ready to be picked up using set instructions. Now I will keep adding names for the addresses to make it a bit easier to understand, or you can refer to the connection shown on top. First to pick the object, we need to set the move Z actuator, this can be done using a coil instead of set instruction, as we have a memory bit already set and we can use that. To grab the object, we can use a latch, or set instruction, I'll be using a latch, so, when the arm stops moving, and the object is detected then grab it. And this can be done like this. Now, when we have grabbed the object, we need to move up or reset the move Z actuator. For this again I'll create a new condition like, when the arm is not moving, and we have grabbed the object, latch another memory bit. This memory bit can be used to break the connection in the first rung so I'll rename it to reset Z. After this we can set the move X actuator, and so I'll again make a latch for this, to move down I'll use another memory bit to unlatch the reset Z memory bit, and the move Z actuator will turn on again, so the arm will move down. Now, when the exit sensor detects the object, all we need to do is unlatch the grab actuator, and reset the item ready memory bit, and everything will reset. This way we can create a logic to control the two axis pick and place. 